My father said we bleed differently, that my blood pools like rainwater puddles, like spilt mobby on the counter soaks to cloth, and that split flesh is met with bandage kisses. But Melissa bleeds poison. She bleeds plague. She bleeds and everyone she loves is afraid. Melissa said she loved me. I thought she meant enough to sit with me and split pastries somewhat symmetrical and give me the bigger half anyway. Enough to play date and nap time careless. Enough to forgive when our bikes collided over the canyon on her thigh. When her flesh parted, I thought my bandage kisses could close hers the same. Her father warned her about those breast stroking towards affection. Those who try to nose that into her blood pumping, struggling to swim in something so venom. I knew I would tread towards the deep end because these butterflies can't be long and I can doggy paddle better than anyone. My father told me I can't swim when I learned I know I drowned swimming with Melissa. I would learn to swim in the bodies of women, in chest high waters, lay floating in lust, pseudo affection and endorphin coated kisses because it's easier wearing a life jacket and pretending to be a fish than learning to Michael Phelps into a woman's heart. But Melissa could swim. She said she loved me again. I knew she meant enough to lick my wounds, knowing I couldn't do the same for her. Enough to sink and rise with the sands, hands swinging together to the sky painted sunset. Enough to welcome me with her heart, promising still waters to swim. Enough to kiss me and me. She tasted dangerous and asked why I never say it to her. I might drown, failing to float in those waters. Melissa knew it was safe for me to swim. I couldn't trust that she was right. I told her it's because I can't. A heart with water too thick to glide my hands through infection, filling my lungs on the inhale. Nothing lifting my head above drowning. I die before I can properly love her. And I thought it was proper only to swim through flesh, the only way I'd learn to love. Realizing too late that different styles of swimming can keep a man afloat, that holding your breath, like holding back feeble needs, makes room to explore beneath the surface of flood water. AIDS never told her that she couldn't love. It didn't need to. I convinced her we all couldn't swim. That men like Michael Phelps are both legend and myth. That most of us are content pretending we can swim. That butterflies aren't enough sometimes. That doggy paddling isn't really swimming. Truth is, we're all drowning. We're just too busy enjoying it. Wow.